What's up YouTube, this is Kalak Pokemon and today we are doing another Japanese opening and what we have here is the Explosive Impact. Explosive Impact, I love saying that. So that is the Lugia set and they are bringing back in the Lost Zone and it's pretty really cool, I mean there's like a, what do you call it, a deck coming on here, it's called the Lost Zone march where you know you throw people in lost zone and you know based on the cards in the lo lost zone I can't speak uh, yeah you pretty much get damage from it so it's pretty much the night march uh revamp version so this is actually really really cool um and i think that this is quite an interesting box and this set is pretty popular so far so I will leave some on troll and toll actually you guys can check out it I will leave it let's say let's put it for $2.99 how, how does that sound so we'll leave some of that on TNT and you guys can check it out so what do we have here let's get this baby opened so we have um, yeah milk uh, the, the, the cow thing forgot her name its name Ah, we have Eevee and you know the, the the golden card that we really really want to get from the set is the Professor Elm full art because it's just amazing you know that card has the um has um yeah it's just totally amazing it's like Pokemon fan club all over again so as always we're gonna open the packs and as always I'm gonna forget the names and let's see what we're gonna pull so first up there has just been so many you know new pokemon products oh look at that okay we have a um Helicos. this one is a very useful card I forgot the name Sw swallow swallow so what it does is that you know you can its ability is to look at the top card of your opponent's deck you don't have to show your opponent <clears throat> but what it does is that you can, if it is a supporter card, you can move it to the Lost Zone. And, you know, they wouldn't know what card you move to the Lost Zone. So that's going to be uh, fun. So this one, it's going to be an interest. Oh, that was <clears throat> cool. First pack in, Lugia GX. Very, very nice. So you can see that it's like, rawr, it's about to like shoot out like a hyper beam or something like that. It's really, really nice card. And... This is thing. Oh, totally forgot. So what they have in each of these packs is a little um, raffle card that you can use in Japan. So what it tells you is that you know there are two prizes. So one thousand people will get you know a folder featuring the Lugia set, and there's a special price. Ten of the people will get a binder as well as 14 of the secret rare i mean secret rare meaning full arts the gold card and the hyper rare in this set so you know if people are in japan they might use it as a lucky draw so that's that part so let's move on so first pack in we pulled two useful cards already that's fun oh we have a um i forgot the name Tox 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 toxic crows Toxapack. Oh, very nice. Espeon. Did I say Espeon? I was about to say Umbreon. Oops. Haha. <laughs> Silly me. Umbreon. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, this is uh, very interesting. So after you evolve the card, this can use all the attacks from the previous evolution of that card. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. So nice. Hollow. And we have the... Forever reprinted how, as usual. I mean, seriously, they need to stop reprinting that card. It's been reprinted like, like 6,000 times already. Oh, we have an Ultra Beast. Oh, that's a very, very cute Cyndaquil. Can you guys see it? Ooh, we have a Cypher. I think that's a switch or something like that. Energy switch. Ooh, this one. So this evolves into that, that bird. So we're gonna leave that there. Unknown, not bad. 
So, how's everyone doing? So tell me, what do you guys think about... I'll talk about this card later. What do you guys think about Dragon Majesty? Because, you know, the Dragon... Ma oh, okay, I have to talk about this card then. Alright, so this evolves into... Well, this is also a stage 1, but obviously. So what this is, is that it does 20 damage times the number of cards in the Lost Zone. Oh my god, one energy, and that's your pretty much your Night March, or what we call Lost Zone March. Combo, very nice. And we have that helmet. So, what was I saying? Yeah, so in the comments below, remember to hit like, subscribe, and tell me, you know, what do you guys think about the Dragon Majesty set? I mean, I've been looking at that set, and, and it's... I mean, I really am not sure if I really should buy or should... No, invest in that set. The only card that is pretty much worth it's your what do you call it? It's the gold necrozma. And I mean it's yeah, I really can't tell if it is a good set or not. Because in the Japanese side, you know, people are not very enthusiastic about that set. Ooh, nice card. So, you know, I have mixed feeling about that set. But nevertheless, a lot of the distributors are actually running out of the Dragon Majesty tin. Or, you know, they just haven't showed up this they're in stock yet, one way or the other. Oh, milk. So having mixed feelings. So leave a comment and tell me what you guys think about the Dragon Majesty set. Is it an amazing set? Or is it a pretty much not so. Ooh, Professor Elm. So this card, you get one, around one to two each box. I've seen a lot of boxes with only one. This card is gonna be quite um, pricey, eventually, in the Japanese side. And also that there is a promo version of this card that is only released in Japanese Pokemon Center if you buy one box. So, you know, the price of this card and the promo will go up. So, yeah, let me know if Dragon Majesty set is your thing, or are we just gonna, you know, hang on and wait for the SM8 release? So the SM8 release is actually quite, ooh, we have a Lusamine, um, Prismware. So yeah, the SM8 release, the Thunder Clap Storm, Thunder Storm Clap, in the English set is going to be very, very popular. Because the Mimikyu set in Japan has been out of stock. It's actually quite scary. It's it's the newest set, I mean, well, other than this one, but it's already out of stock in a lot of places. So that's quite interesting. So yeah. And I actually have to, ooh. Oh, this one is the Bla Blaseon? Bla Bla Blazeflon, I cannot pronounce this. Oh, so we've done, we pretty much opened half of the box and so far we haven't hit any full art, secret rare, hyper rare, or gold card yet. Ooh, this one, it's one of, uh, they call it the useless hammer or something like that. So what it does is that if it was your first turn, you can um, knock your opponent hand back into the deck or something like that. But yeah, they said it's totally useless. And there's actually a golden trainer card of that, that hammer. And just, yeah, please don't let me pull that one. Oh, that's a very, very, ooh, shiny, cute, chancy. So we have a rare, we have a choice man, we have this. So, yeah, we have done half the box. No secret rare, no full art, only two GX comes out. You know, I really hope that I can get a, like, some sort of like full art professor. That would be very cool. I mean, one professor came out. And we have the prism card. Ooh, another one. Ooh, that's a really good, cool uh, thing. Oh, what's that? Ente, Suicune, and Raikou. Raikou. See, I'm getting better at this. Ha. Huh? So, what are we gonna get? Oh, I really love these sort of yarned version of these Pokemon. Lovely Cinequil. Wubbuffet. Very nice. 
Oh, this reminds me of him. Pokemon. I forgot, was it gold and silver? Not gold and silver. Was it gold and silver? Yeah, it was gold and silver with the sweet coon and everything. Ooh, another one of this. That's nice. Oh. And they stuck it quite hard. It's actually quite hard to open. Oh, a Hitmontop. That's really cool. We have Lily. Dude, this card in Ultra Prism has gone up significantly, the full art version in price. It's crazy. So, don't know why, but I mean, I guess it's because Ultra Prism is out of print, so. Oh, what can that be? All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Oh, it scared me there. It is a, um, let's see. Hello, oh, very nice card. Pokemon catcher. Still no full art, still 2GX. The reindeer guy. Oh, Tyranitar! Full art, this is nice. I mean, I was hoping for something else, but you know, this is not bad at all. Slow King we have there. So, very cool car. I'll do a recap in a bit. Ooh. Oh, we have Shaco. Shaco? Shaco? Shaco. Shaco is like League of Legends, guys, so. Oh, a Chansey. Ooh. Milk. I think we pretty much hit all of them. Alright, so yeah. Not bad, I guess. So that. Eevee. Hmm. Tyranitas. Nice. I guess. Entei. Where's the sweet queen? Come on, sweet queen. Come on out. And there you're kind of like in here. If you get lucky, you actually can get four regular GX. So the Ultra Rail card in one box. Or if I'm lucky, I'll get another Professor Elm. So one way or the other. Let's see how lucky or unlucky I get. Oh, Ultra Beast. Umbreon. Two more packs left. What are we gonna get? Are we gonna hit? Ooh. This one is called Lost Mixers when you, you throw down two cards. Oh, uh, now we have our um, Espeon. Last pack. Any luck? Any GX? Any Professor Elm? Ooh, Cynical. Oh, another GX. Nice! We hit four GX. No, we could, but we still hit four. Oh, nice! Dude, last pack magic, man. Oh my god. I need to do a quick recap, but I need to move some of the cards away first. So, what have we got? Well, it's quite cool. We have a Blaze Salon. Blaze, 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 I can never say this word. Lugia GX. Tyranitar GX. Shaco GX. And a faux art Tyranita. Look at this card, guys. So remember to hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And you know, let me know in the comment if Dragon Majesty is a good set. Peace out for now. This is Collect Pokemon.